what are the metabolic reasons that cells age. In the process of aging, there is something called senescence, whereby cells stop proliferating and it's an irreversible process that promotes age-related decline. We're starting to understand the fundamental processes in order to hopefully then find the ways to reverse or to potentially eliminate aging cells as they enter this process of senescence. Most people have studied senescence in a type of cells called fibroblasts, but we've studied the process of senescence in epithelial cells. And most cancers arise in epithelial tissues. So we're studying the process of senescence in the cells that actually turn into cancer. Currently a very interesting area of therapeutics for aging is a field called senolytics, which are drugs that specifically target and kill senescent cells. And it's been shown in mouse models that if you eliminate those senescent cells, that those mice age better. Not necessarily that they live longer, but that they have a more productive lifespan. Extending the human lifespan in terms of focusing on senescence is sometimes called a double-edged sword, that we want to prevent cells from becoming senescent, but at the same time, overcoming senescence is one of the things that happens in, in tumors. So there needs to be very careful design of therapeutics that target senescent cell elimination without allowing cancer cells to overcome this barrier that normally prevents tumor formation. The potential implications of this research for aging and cancer is that we are starting to understand the processes that cancer cells have to overcome to achieve unlimited proliferation. So if we understand the processes by which that happens, we may be able to design drugs to either prevent cancer cells from doing that or to potentially eliminate aging cells as they enter this process of senescence.